chain link fence can be a cost effective way to mark your property line, keep your pets safe, and keep unwanted animals out of your yard. Whether you're installing the fence yourself or hiring a pro, the first step is to check with your local building department to determine if your fence will require a permit. You should also be sure to call 811 to avoid digging near any gas or water lines. To get started, lay out the fence perimeter with batter boards and mason's line. Mark the fence post locations with spray paint no more than 10 feet apart. Using a post hole digger, dig holes that are 20 to 24 inches deep. Place the posts in the holes, keeping them plumb against a string line, and add concrete. For now, the height of the post doesn't need to be exact. Just make sure each post is several inches higher than the height of the fence. Once the concrete has cured, usually about 24 hours, you can continue with the installation. The ends, corners, and gate posts are called terminal posts. On each terminal post, there should be three tension bands and one brace band with a rail end cup. On the remaining posts, slide on a line rail clamp for the bottom rail. Use Mason's line to represent the height of each line post. Using a portable bandsaw, cut the line post to the proper height, but don't cut the terminal post just yet. Install fittings called line tops on each line post and run the top rails through the holes. Measure and cut the bottom rails to fit between each rail clamp. Using a piece of wood as a spacer, set the bottom rail to the appropriate height and secure the rail clamps to the posts. Bring a roll of mesh to one end of the fence and thread the tension bar through the first column of links. Use aluminum ties to secure the mesh to the top rail. Secure the tension bar to the tension bands on the first fence post and unroll the mesh to the next terminal post. While holding the mesh taut, connect the mesh to the top rail using more aluminum ties. Insert a tension bar into the middle of the last section of fencing and secure the fence puller to the tension bar. Pull the fence until it's taut and cut the excess mesh that runs past the last section of fence. Insert another tension bar into the last column of mesh links and connect it to the tension bands on the terminal post. Repeat this process all the way around the fence perimeter. Once the mesh has been secured and cut around the entire fence, use aluminum ties to attach it to the line poles and rails about every 12 inches. You can now cut the terminal posts two inches higher than the other posts. Add a cap to each one. To install a gate, first attach the hinges to the end posts. Then, just hang the gate and install the gate latch. Installing a chain link fence can be a do-it-yourself project, but you'll need to be sure you've measured correctly, have all the right tools and materials, and allow plenty of time to get the job done right.